Mets, of course, would love to have DeGrom in 2023, but I got one team, a surprise team right here. They spent over half a billion dollars last year to improve their team to go win a World Series. It didn't happen at all. That is, of course, the Texas Rangers. I got them adding relief pitching help, and I also got them adding a starter who is one of the best, if not the best in the game, pretty much the best. Jacob deGrom will be signing with the Texas Rangers. Come baby. Enjoy this great game. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the Humbaby Baseball channel. This is Eric, and you saw it in the intro. It happened. The Humbaby Baseball prediction came true, and Jacob deGrom has signed with the Texas Rangers. It's a five-year deal, $185 million dollars. Not horrible for the Rangers, for one of the best pitchers in the game. He is 34, slight risk there, has had some injury issues lately. It's not 100% foolproof. There could be something that goes wrong here in this deal. But I think when you were talking about Jacob deGrom, who has shown this year his strikeout stuff is still there. He has still looked great when he stayed on the field. And we know that pitchers can pitch good late into their 30s. We saw that this year with Justin Verlander, and I was even iffy on him this year. I'm like, ah, Justin Verlander, I don't know, you know, coming off Tommy John. Well, boom, he showed us what he could do. So at 34, I think Jacob deGrom has a lot of really good years left, and I think this is a really good signing right now. I'm not sure how Texas Rangers fans are feeling. I'm assuming they're excited, and I think y'all should be. I think this is a great signing. We'll look at the Rangers rotation in a moment. Let's check out the article real quick. The Texas Rangers are going all in. They are going for it all. The Rangers signed two-time Cy Young Award winner Jacob deGrom to a five-year deal they announced on Friday. Multiple reports say the deal's about 800, excuse me, $185 million and includes a sixth-year option. So deGrom did sign a five-year deal. He opted out after three years. And that's kind of why I thought he might go elsewhere and ended up being right. Here's the tweet from the Rangers. Not only that he was going elsewhere, but pinpointed the team. Um, so pretty happy about that. I'm sure most of my predictions will end up totally wrong, but I'll definitely take credit for this one right here. And a really cool move here for the Texas Rangers. And uh, let's take a look at what their rotation will now look like. We will definitely have a preview for the Rangers and we'll try to get a guest on like we did last year. But uh, just to take a glance at some of the guys, now, obviously Martin Perez did come back. I believe he came back on the qualifying offer. So you got Martin Perez coming back, a lefty in the rotation there. Jake Odorizzo, John Gray right here. I mean, already a young Dane Dunning um, and a couple other options here. It looks like when you throw Jacob DeGrom into there, all of a sudden you got a pretty damn formidable rotation, I think. Uh, Martin Perez had a good enough year that he got the qualifying offer. So that tells you all, even though it was a bit of a surprise, still, that tells you everything you need to know there. Uh, John Gray, he's had some some good times and bad, but still Jake Odorizzi, uh, Jake Odorizzi same thing. Uh, Dane Dunning, uh, young pitcher they got from the White Sox. Okay, he was 4-8, 4.46 ERA, 137 strikeouts and 153 innings. So, okay, nothing extraordinary for Dane Dunning, but maybe a fourth or fifth guy in the rotation. But still, I think that you have a solid enough base right here when you add DeGrom into it. And uh, obviously, you still have the guys they picked up in the offseason with Simeon and Seager right here. Josh Young, up-and-coming prospect. So, pretty good. Uh, obviously, Adolis Garcia, this dude is, is awesome. So, hey, uh, you got a pretty damn good team, and the Rangers are not messing around, and there's still more offseason to go. So, I don't think that they're done yet. They will continue to make moves. This will probably be the big move of the offseason, I'm assuming, but who knows? We, saw, we thought that last year, and, and they ended up doing even more. So, um, congratulations, Rangers fans. I think this is a, a pretty cool move for y'all. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and click on this link right here. I want to check out what Rangers fans are saying really briefly about this signing. I mean, what is going on here, Rangers? There you have it right there. That shows me uh, they're feeling this right here, right here. Rangers fans are definitely feeling it. And I think y'all should. Welcome to the Wild West. Giddy up, ladies and gentlemen. Let's go. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Rangers fans are feeling it. Well, my night is ruined. Obviously not a Rangers fan, right? Get that rehab program ready when he tears his pinky muscle and goes on the aisle. This must be a Mets fan, I'm going to assume. Mets fan. It says, it's, of course, you're a Mets fan. Not a little salty, huh? Not not feeling not feeling too happy for the Rangers fans. We got to talk a little shit. I get it. I get it. But you know what? Um, it's all good in the hood uh, and for the Texas Rangers. Pretty excited about this. I'm not a Rangers fan. I'm a Giants fan. But 
It's going to be fun to see Jacob DeGrom, what he can do for this for this Texas Rangers team. It is happening over in the American League, so I don't have to worry so much about it so much in the National League. But uh, awesome. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in that comment section. Now, of course, I'm excited because I predicted it as well. You know, I mean, that, that brings a little extra excitement as well to the channel whenever I get a prediction right. It's rare. But it happens. I did have Correa going to the Twins. When it happens, it's something crazy because I make crazy predictions. You guys have a great day. By the way, hit that thumbs up. And if you don't mind, hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel. I really do appreciate everybody. Thank you so much. Have a great day. And we'll see you next time.